Hello everyone. We're gonna read a story. The girl who wore too much. What do you see? What do you think the story is about? What can you tell that she's wearing? Let's find out what happens. Who remembers what this is? It's a clothesline. After we wash our clothes, we hang up our clothes on the clothesline and dry. How many colors, how many shirts can you see on her clothesline? Who remembers her name? Her name is Ari. Everybody say Ari. They showered that girl with gifts. Ari, those golden earrings will look so attractive on your dainty ear. Who knows what dainty means? Dainty means small and pretty. We must buy them for you. Ari, that silver bracelet will look so lovely on your little arm. We must buy it for you. Ari, that ruby ring will look so sweet on your slender finger. What does slender mean? Very small and thin. That's what slender means. We must buy it for you. What can you see around Ari? What are all these? What do you think this is? It's jewelry. And whenever they saw an especially beautiful silk, they will cry, Oh, Ari, you will look so lovely in that color. We must buy it for you. What do you think Ari is? What do you think she's picking out? She looks like she's in a fabric store, picking out fabrics. Ari's room was stuffed with boxes of jewels and chests full of silk. Then she heard of a dance in the village beyond the mountains. Now I can show off my fine clothes. Look how many dresses Ari has on. Look at the many colors that she has to choose from. How many colors can you see? Let's find out what some of the colors are. We're gonna look at some of the colors. But which color shall I wear? The pink, the fuchsia, the scarlet, the sky blue, or the aquamarine? Maybe violet. Deep purple magenta, maybe chartreuse or emerald green. I think I'll wear the pink. So I think Ari's gonna go with the pink dress. She put on a paisan of bright pink silk. What's a paisan? Who knows what a paisan is? A paisan is a thin, slender skirt. Look at the paisan. What color is her paisan? But there was the green, the color of emeralds. This green is so elegant. Perhaps I could wear them both. So she quickly put the green right on top of the pink. Now I can show off two of my silks. So how many dresses does Ari have on so far? She said she was gonna put the green on top of the pink. So how many do you think that is? One, two, see the pink, pink coming out of the bottom? How many more dresses do you think Ari's gonna put on by the end of the story? Can you guess? Still, the fuchsia is the brightest of all. I think I'll wear it too. And putting the fuchsia on top of the green, she twirled around and around. I'm going to be the most beautiful girl at the dance. This chartreuse is especially gorgeous. And look at this bright blue. No one has silk as expensive as mine's. Why not? I'll wear them too. The aquamarine, the violet, and this purple with threads of pure gold. With all of my dresses, I'm certain to be the most beautiful girl at the dance. So where is Ari trying on dresses for? Where is she going? Where does she want to go? She wants to go to the dance. And who does she want to be at the dance? The most beautiful girl. Uh-oh. What happened to Ari? Look at her face. How do you think she feels? And putting dress over dress, that vain girl soon had chosen them all. What does vain mean? 
Vain means to, to think highly of herself. She thinks very highly of herself. Wearing all of those heavy dresses, Ari could hardly move. They put a bit heavy, but look at me, the most beautiful girl at the dance. How many dresses can you see? How many dresses is Ari wearing? Look at the colors at the bottom. They're all coming out of the bottom. How many colors do you see? Ari has a lot of dresses. Now, which bracelet shall I wear? The gold, yes. The silver, of course. The jade, my favorite. And my rings, the ruby, the sapphire, the emerald, the pearl, the opal, oh yes. Soon she was wearing every piece of jewelry she owned. Look at Ari. So not only does she have on a lot of dresses, what else does she have a lot of? Look at her hands. Look at her neck. She has on a lot of jewelry. Just then her friends arrived. Ari, you look. They didn't know what to say. Ari stumbled from her house wearing silks, rings, bracelets, earrings. She could hardly walk. So Ari was stumbling with all the dresses and jewelry that she had on. What does stumbling mean? Stumbling means to lose the trip or lose balance, to almost fall. But she was proud. Just look at my beautiful clothes. Just look at my gold and jewels. I am certain to be the most beautiful girl at the dance. Ari looked so silly. Her friends tried not to laugh. They started off for the dance, but Ari could not keep up. Soon she was huffing and puffing. Wait for me, wait for me. I can't get up the hill. Why can't Ari get up the hill? Because she had on too many dresses. What do you think happened next? What happened next? Her friends came back to help. We could push you up the hill. Don't push, you will wrinkle my dresses. We could pull you up the hill. Don't pull, you will soil my silk clothes. So the girls left Ari and went on. Do you think Ari made it to the dance? Let's find out. Ari stumbled along for a while, but soon, wait for me, wait for me, I can't get up the hill. Her friends came back once more. Ari, take off your bracelets, take off those heavy rings, take off some of those dresses. Then you could climb the hill. You were just jealous of my fine clothing. Then I won't be the most beautiful girl at the dance. Ari refused to take off anything at all, so her friends left her there. They went on to the dance without her. All day in the hot sun, Ari trudged up the hill. What does trudge mean? The walk tired, the walk slowly. By nightfall, she had just reached the top. There she stopped, stuck in heavy clothes, too exhausted to take another step. What does exhausted mean? Exhausted is physically or mentally drained. What do you see on the ground? What's on the ground? Did Ari start to take off some of the things that she had on? What do you think is gonna happen next? When her friends returned from the dance, Ari was still too tired to move. By the time they had fetched her parents, Ari was vain no more. Mother, father, I wore too much. I don't need all these clothes. Then take off some of your dresses. Take off those heavy jewels. We have taught you to want too much. You must learn to be happy with less. So jewel by jewel, dress by dress, Ari gave all away all her things. What is Ari doing? What did Ari, what did her parents tell her to do? Ari started to give away all her things, her jewelry and her dresses. And the next day she went to a dance and she was lovely in one simple dress. The end. Who can tell me what the story was about? What was the problem? Ari wanted to wear too many dresses. And what did she end up missing? She ended up missing the dance. 
And what happened at the end of the story? What did Ari do? She gave away all her dresses and her jewels. <laughs>